So first of all, let's go through, I guess, probably the low point of this podcast before we go any further. Kiwi sides. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Um, and, and that is, of course, what's happening this year. So we're pretty excited that we had a new stats provider on. We had some new detail on our platform. Um, we've been hard in conversation. Kug has been hard on work working on the platform. And despite all the effort, we are in a position, again, where we've decided we don't have the structure on the website to push ahead for 2022. So uh, this is not a decision we took very lightly. Where, where despite the the banter, now we've had a few days to process. Uh, we're, we're very, very disappointed. Um, but not only are we not going to going to uh, press ahead with a platform in 2022 in terms of a fantasy playing website that you can use <clears> and play the game, but we're also not going to supply stats either. So that's a that's a first for us. Yeah, that'll be the first year in four or five years, but. The investment, even at a, at a new with a new rate, to uh, to supply the stats when we don't have a platform to try and build, I guess our, our, our following and try and recoup some costs. It's just just builds up to be too much money. And uh, you know, we we uh, fully support the fantasy rugby draft guys. They're good men over there in New Zealand with what they're doing. And I know they had some issues earlier in the year where they were thinking about pulling the pin as well. At one point, they uh, thankfully haven't done that. So we're going to try and support them as much as we can as well. Um, we think that they they do some really good work over there. Yep. So the way we're going to do it this year is we're going to sign up. I've, I've already paid for my premium. Uh, I think it's twenty five New Zealand dollars, which is like three dollars forty or something <laughs> Australian. Um, so it, it's nothing really. And for the effort they put in, I guarantee you that means the world to them. And uh, and definitely definitely not even breaking even for them for that. But I've paid for that now, so I get their information, their stats as well. And that's what I'm going to be using for our, our fantasy platform. And I've encouraged all our managers to sign up so they can do their research through there. Um, so that, that's what we're going to do. We're going to still run our offline platform as we have for every year. So we can supply those sheets out to everyone for those that are interested as well. Um, and we'll go through the structures, I think. But we're, we're still going to do all the other content Yep. that we we do every single year and you know if, if not more because we don't you know we don't need to worry about some of this other little stuff so we'll see how we go yeah if anything hopefully <clears throat> it just means the content that we've been putting out on youtube instagram everything else hopefully it's even better this year because we've got a sole focus on i guess the social media side of things you know and and i think with Kagi not here we can confidently say that winning super rugby fantasy footy is pretty easy to us so we can <laughs> <laughs> make a lot of focus yeah that's fair. Uh, yeah let's not talk about last year though 